Today let's discuss about nutting, purging and gas free. Fire on a tanker is the most dreadful thing to imagine, especially in case of a loaded tanker. For this reason, the oxygen level inside the cargo tank is to be such that even if source of ignition is accidentally present, the fire triangle would still be incomplete. The process of reducing oxygen level in the tank is called inerting. Inerting is the process of introducing inert gas into a tank with the objective of attaining inert condition. For a tank to be in inert condition, the oxygen content has to be reduced to 8% or less by volume. Any tank with oxygen content less than 8% is considered to be inert. As per requirements, the system should be capable of inerting an empty cargo tank and maintaining atmosphere in any part of the tank with an oxygen content not exceeding 8% by volume and at a positive pressure in port and at sea except when it is necessary for such a tank to be gas free. Now let's see what is purging. Purging is the process of introduction of inert gas into a tank already in inert condition with the purpose of further reducing oxygen content, reducing the existing hydrocarbon gas content to a level below which combustion cannot be supported if air is subsequently introduced to the tank. So during inerting, we introduced inert gas to a tank which is not in inert condition, whereas purging involves introducing inert gas to a tank already in inert condition. Now let's see what is gas freeing. Gas freeing is the process of creating normal atmosphere condition inside the tank where in oxygen level is 21%. A gas freeing process begins with an inerting cycle that removes oxygen from tank atmosphere. After this, purging is carried out to further reduce the hydrocarbon level so that there is no chance of combustion and at last fresh air is introduced to the tank typically fixed or portable gas filling fan air or water driven is used and secured on deck at one of the open hatches atmosphere we check by gas meters followed by entry into the tank let's see the methods of inerting and purging the first method is dilution Dilution method takes place when the incoming inert gas mixes with the original tank atmosphere to form a homogeneous mixture throughout the tank so that as the process continues the concentration of original gas reduces. To achieve this Ig has to be introduced at a high velocity into the tank. To ensure this a limit should be placed on number of tanks that can be inerted simultaneously. Also the tank pressure should be on the higher side while using the dilution method. The second method is displacement. Displacement method depends on the fact that inert gas is slightly lighter than the hydrocarbon gas. For a easy understanding about the which gas is heavy, remember the acronym NAIL NAIL where N stands for nitrogen then comes air, then inert gas and finally L stands for LPG gas which is the heaviest. During displacement method, the heavier hydrocarbon gas escapes through the pipeline. Since the density of gases is different, we will have to introduce the inert gas from top or bottom depending on the density of vapor inside. If the density of Ig is less than the density of vapor inside, introduce the Ig from top. If the density of Ig is greater than the vapor inside, introduce the Ig from bottom. So this is all about inerting, purging and gas freeing. 